If you don't have a clear vision or goal for your own future, you might not be in the right space to join an agency as of yet. I don't know how divisive this is going to be. I don't know how other talents feel about this, but I think it really helps keep your head in the game. The first, the first, uh, three months after V2, when you start VTubing, is kind of an emotional roller coaster. So like, one, going to debut is a really emotional roller coaster. You just spend a lot of time trying to like min max, like, oh, I'm going to do this, this, and this to attract my audience. I'm going to do this, this, this to, uh, to keep them. You spend a lot of time doing that in pre debut, uh, in my opinion. Um, trying to maximize production level of your debut, trying to get it as good as it can. Then when that's over, you realize how much content there is to do and you're kind of riding this high because uh, it's new and exciting. Uh, you do that for about, I think you can get a solid month out of that high. I, I've heard differently, but like, I think you can get a solid month out of that high. Then you stabilize. Um, then you stabilize. You might still enjoy it at this point. You might still be having fun. I hope you're having fun. Um, but then it gets really real because your income is now also stabilizing. So that's kind of a determiner for like, okay, can I do this for the next Let's say you don't have a lot of money in your savings account. Let's say maybe you quit your job for this, which by the way, if you're going to become a VTuber, please don't fucking quit your day job immediately. Don't quit your day job because you have one good month. Please, I fucking beg you, do not quit your day job because you have one good month of VTubing. I beg of you. Uh, talking from experience? No, I was laid off because of an economical situation. We are not built the same. And I was actively job hunting. So yeah, don't quit your job. If you're planning to quit your job just to start VTubing, don't do it. Don't join FaZe. Unless you're independently wealthy, yes, of course. <laughs> um, Don't quit your day job. If you do, you can. At some point, if you're successful in this field, I'm not saying it's impossible. You can quit your day job. Just know that's going to be hard. As it could be a really fucking long road, okay? Um, just be rich forehead, yeah. Yeah, just just be just be rich forehead. Um, but where was I on this? Yeah, try to try to have a clear vision or go to work with because that's going to be what pushes you at the 3 month mark when things start kind of mellowing out. And you know, you might not have the same audience that you had in your first week of streaming. Because uh, one thing about this industry is there's always going to be new competition. There's always going to be new VTubers, okay? Everyone's gotta try to come in with some sort of gimmick, something that makes them cool or special. And your gimmick's not safe? Your character's not safe? There's, listen, like, like copying quote unquote or like, is a natural part of an industry, I think, to an extent. Um, seeing what works and does well and doing the same thing, it's not bad. It's smart. It's smart. Innovation is rough. Innovation is hard. And a lot of agencies will probably ask you to be innovators. Like, fuck, I'd love, I'd love someone like totally new and creative, but it's hard and it's not 100, like, it's not possible all the fucking time, okay? Uh, like, there's gotta be days where you're tired. There's gotta be days when you don't have six hours to prepare for a stream, for a creative stream. And all those days, it's really nice to have a reference. It's really nice to have a point of reference. Base is so innovative, I never would have thought of all of those collective puking streams. <laughs> Are you saying I should have quit my day job to invest in Sakuna's plushie? No! Where did you get that idea? You said you'd grow on me like a parasite and you did. Aw, oh, thank you, Orbital Vagabond. But yeah, have something you want to work towards. Have a goal, because there's going to be a lot of rough days. For some people more than others. For some people way more than others. But I can guarantee you, even if you have the best mental health, which you you don't, you probably won't, okay? You're, you're a VTuber, but let's just call it what it is. You, you forever, for some reason are attracted to the idea of being an anime girl on the internet. Um, have something you all work towards. Ha have hard goals and have soft goals. Hard goals being like, um, 
I don't know. This is not mine, but I want to have a 3D live as like a hard goal. Like that is something tangible. Maybe, maybe you could add a date to it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't because putting dates to things and VTubing is a little hard, hard, but wanting to have a 3D live is a great goal to work towards. A soft goal might be, um, something as simple as I want to make people laugh. I want to be funny. Crying laughing face times fucking infinity. And you just keep working towards that and that'll, that'll be what keeps you going. Um, my goal is to have 10 viewers. You go get those 10 viewers. You do it. At 3D Dizzy, not anytime soon, not anytime soon. But yeah, I think if you don't have a clear goal or something you want to work towards, if you're just thinking like, oh, this could be fun. I don't think agency, you're exactly suited to agency life. I think it might... Frankly, I think it might break you. I, 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 I think if you're approaching this as like purely from a hobbyist perspective and you want to just like have fun, make friends and hang out, I think being an agency is really tough because at the end of the day for like a lot of people, one of the goals is to earn income, is to make money. Um, a lot of people, uh, aren't concerned about growth and growing and an audience. And if you're just like, hee hee, haha, I want to play the games I want to play. That's cool. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but I don't think an agency is the right place for you. Agency has demands. Yeah. And we have managers and we have staff that rely upon us. And like, if I don't turn an income, I think I become a burden upon those people who rely on me. Hoping that even one of them would transform into something other than a burden to society. So, um, don't let it consume you. But it is something to think about if you're looking for an, for an agency. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. My fellow brothers, in the face of our common dangers, in this winter of our hardship, remember these timeless words, as we can.